Hello everyone, this is your tutor AB. Today we're going to be solving a problem from the May 2024 IB Physics HL examinations. This is a paper 2 problem. A solid block of glass is covered with water. The diagram shows the path of a monochromatic light entering the water from the glass block. Okay. The speed of light in the glass is 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Calculate the light speed of light in the water. State the answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. Okay. How do we do this first question? Well, in your formula booklet, you have two equations which are going to be useful for this question. First one is N1V1 is equal to N2V2. And the second one is N1 sine theta 1 is equal to N2 sine theta 2. These both are given in your data booklets okay and these are just ratios essentially now how do I proceed first we're gonna work with this question first equation right here so we know that we want to solve for v2 v2 is the speed of the light in the water so we know that n1 <clears throat> over n2 times by v1 is equal to v2 Okay, and now we know V1, V1 is just this, that's V1 right there. So we'll leave that for now. We need to figure out what it is N1 over N2. Ah, uh, now this is where the second equation comes in. Do you not see that we can rearrange this to get N1, N2? N1, N2 is nothing but sine theta 2 over sine theta 1. And now we know both these values because that's given in this diagram right here. So this ratio is basically equal to sine of 71 degrees over sine of 55 degrees. Okay, and that's what this ratio is equal to. And now if I put this on my calculator, what do I get? You get 1.15. And now that's the ratio of N1 over N2. Now, we just substitute that into this right here. So 1.15 times by the V1, which is 2 to 10 to the power of 8, gives me V2. So V2, if you put this in your calculator, comes out to be, in the appropriate number of significant figures, 2.3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. And now that's the velocity of the light, or speed of the light in the water. Okay. Part B, explain the change in the wavelength of the light at the glass water boundary. Now, what's actually happening? Why is there a change in wavelength? Well, do you see that there's a change in, ac in angle? There's a change in angle as it ch goes from one medium to the other. Now, why exactly does this happen is because these two mediums have different refractive indexes. Now, when the second angle is further away from the normal which is this middle line right there that means that at the second medium the velocity of the light traveling through it is greater so the velocity of light traveling through the water is greater than the velocity of the light traveling through the glass now so basically i can explain this wavelength using this equation which is in your data booklet the equation is Velocity is equal to frequency times by lambda. Now, frequency is unchanged. And the reason frequency is unchanged is because it's the same light. There's no change in source, right? The light is the same. So the only thing that changes is the velocity. And now, the, why does the velocity change? The velocity is changing, we know, because it's going further away from the normal. If it were the same 55, 55, there's no change in velocity. And we know in this case the velocity is increasing, so the velocity increases, okay? And now, what happens to the lambda, the wavelength when velocity increases? We know that velocity is directly proportional to lambda. So lambda, the wavelength, also increases, okay? Second question, so if it's a two marker, you need two points to back up your answer. And so I got two points right there. Draw on the diagram the path of the reflected ray. So they're saying the light ray is partly reflected at the boundary. 
So if it were partly reflected at this boundary right there, how would the reflected path look? Well, it would just look something like that. Uh, with the same angle, of course, 55 degrees. See, it's partly reflected. So that's how it would look on the diagram. Okay, now part two, identify the direction of the polarization of the reflected ray. Now this is no longer in the new physics syllabus. So we can just ignore this question, okay? So no physics syllabus for the next few years is going to have this topic, polarization. So we don't need to answer this. It's not worth answering. Okay, now last part. The water is removed and replaced with air. The refractive index of the air is 1. The direction of the incident ray in the glass remains unchanged. Determine whether a light emerges from the glass block into the air. So to solve this problem, we're going to be using the concept of critical angles. Excuse me. Critical angles. Now, how do we solve this? Now, what is a critical angle? A critical angle is the angle at which there is a total internal reflection. So what does this mean is basically, if you have a medium right there and the light is hitting the critical angle, that means there's a total internal reflection, meaning no light passes through. It's all completely reflected like so, okay? So that's if it was at the critical angle. So like something like theta C. And now any angle, any angle that the light hits this point at greater than the critical angle, there will be no light emerging from the medium. There is going to be no light. Any angle less than the critical angle, sure, there will be some light emerging. But any angle greater than the light, so if theta c is less than the theta of the incident, okay, there will be no light emerging. Okay, that's an important concept to understand. Now using this, let's solve this problem right here. So what I'll do, I'll just move these two. I'll just move these two things directly underneath so that we can refer to them later on. Yeah, let's keep these there, okay? Let's go, how do I start this question? Now let's use the same equations that we identified in part one. N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2 and n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2. In this case, I want to start off with this equation right there. So, let's just move it down here so we can start off. Okay, so when there is a critical angle, there's going to be no light emerging. So at the critical angle, the sine theta 2 is going to be 90 degrees exactly 90 degrees so we can say that n1 sine theta c because we're trying to find out what is the critical angle for this particular situation is equal to n2 and sine of 90 is just 1 right sine of 90 is just 1 this so we can basically ignore that so n1 so what we can do is n1 sine theta c is equal to n2. So I can say that sine theta c is equal to n2 upon n1. So the critical angle is basically the sine inverse of this ratio of refractive indexes. Now, how can I get this n2 over n1? That's where I use the second equation right here. So n2 over n1 is nothing but v1 over v2. Now, how do I figure this out? Well, what is the velocity of the light in the first medium that we calculated it, that was actually given, we didn't calculate it, that was given earlier, that was 210 to the power of 8, right? So, that was 2, this ratio is equal to 210 to the power of 8. And what is the velocity of light in air? Well, that's in your data booklet. That's a constant as well. It's 10, 310 to the power of 8. Okay, that's always going to be the case. Now, 10 to the power of 8 will cancel. So this ratio is basically equal to 2 over 3. So basically, you just need to substitute 2 over 3 
back into that equation right there. So the critical angle is equal to the sine inverse of 2 over 3. Now if you put this in your calculator, what do you get? Let's see. Sine inverse of 2 over 3. That comes out to be 41.8 degrees. Well, but look, if the critical angle is 41.8, but the light actually hits the, the boundary at an angle of 55 degrees, 55, right, is greater than 41.8. The angle at which the light hits this boundary is greater than the critical angle for the situation. Therefore, we know that no light will emerge. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it down below and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.